Hi everybody, I'm in Vancouver, British Columbia, 2014, and I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite sites here in this beautiful city. Uh, right now we're in Coal Harbor and we'll be going over to Stanley Park. See you soon! The entrance to Stanley Park, which is a 1,000 square kilometer park next to the downtown area. Lots of stuff to do here. There are three beaches, hiking, skating, and oh, look at that! Right now we're in Cold Harbor, which is very popular for overseas investors. Uh, you see a lot of these buildings behind me have uh, completely sold out. The only problem is that 50% uh, of them remain empty because the people who buy them don't live in them. Uh, they do it for investment, park their money. So people here are not too happy because they kind of live in a bit of a dead zone and the businesses don't really have uh, too much investment because there's nobody there to buy their products. So the government's actually thinking of uh, forcing people to rent out their apartments, but uh, that might be hard to do. Okay, here we are at the Lost Lagoon. This is one of my favorite places in Stanley Park. If you look around, there are a lot of wonderful birds, trees, places to walk. And there's a beautiful fountain that was a gift from the city of Chicago. It was actually a fountain that uh, was in the Chicago World's Fair. And they were nice enough to send that up. I like to come here to read, relax, and talk with my friends. And avoid the swans! Um, this place was made into the Wild Ride. Wildlife Reserve in the early 70s. At one time people could take pedal boats and canoes and uh, they were able to have a good time with their family but the government decided that it was better to have a wildlife reserve so that's why we have that now. Very interesting. Um, <laughs> That is a swan. The reason I show you that is that when I was a little boy, my mother brought me down here and she was talking to her friends, and I like swans, so I went up to the swan and I wanted to pet him. Unfortunately, he grabbed my finger and he tried to put me into the water and drown me. So to this day, I'm terrified of him. Hello again. Here we are in the Stanley Park Rose Garden, which is one of my favorite places. Uh, if we look around, as we will in a few minutes, uh, some of the roses are very rare indeed. Uh, I like to come here to read when I have a chance. Uh, originally, this park it is named after Lord Stanley, who is the sixth Governor General of Canada. Yes, amazing. Uh, he's also given his name to the Stanley Cup, if you know what that is. That sure smells good. I sure wish you could be here with me. So here we are with some very famous inhabitants of Stanley Park, the Canadian geese. You have to be a little careful of them because they can get a little bit aggressive as many tourists have found. Hello again. So here we are at the Burrard Inlet which is on the other side of the park from where we were. It's one of my favorite places. I used to come here with my mother when I was a little boy to play at the beach. Hi, it's me again. So here we are at Lumberman's Arch, which is a very famous spot. Uh, originally, a village called Woi Woi was here. It was the largest village of Aboriginal Indians, and they collected mussels and shells and uh, seafood and survived here for quite some time. Later on, this arch that you see before you was placed here in celebration of Queen Victoria's visit to Vancouver. Quite big, isn't it? Wow. So here we are at Coal Harbor again. This in the, over my shoulder is the rowing club, the place uh, people come to practice rowing, and that's quite a beautiful spot. Yes, here goes bells, lots of bikes going by us. Uh, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about why I left Vancouver. 
Um, I was born in Vancouver in 1965 and stayed here for about 24 years and decided to move because uh, I had graduated and I wanted to see the rest of the country. So I moved to Toronto in 1989. Didn't really like it so much. So then I came back to Vancouver and decided to go to Montreal. And that's why I know all of you because I went to Montreal, to McGill to do political science. Hi, so here we are at the Totem Park in the middle of Stanley Park, which is an amazing place to come and visit. What you see behind you are some totem poles that have been made by the Haida Gwaii Nation. Uh, each one of these poles tells a story. If you look up and down the poles, there are some animals and faces that tell a particular story about a particular family. And uh, they're all made by hand by uh, artists from the Haida Gwaii Nation. This smaller pole is called a carved house post, which is used in traditional First Nations cedar houses to support the huge roof beams so that the roof won't fall in. Uh, this is a replica that was carved by an artist called Charlie James in the early 1900s. And uh, this replica was placed here in 1987. I love the colors. Here I am at Prospect Point and we're looking out over onto the North Shore, West Van, where all the rich people live, and British properties. You can see how far up the mountain they have built. It's quite something. Very expensive houses. They're all at least 1.2 to 1.5 million or more. And I'm now panning over to the Lionsgate Bridge, which is a very famous landmark here, originally built by a very rich family so that they could get from the North Shore to the downtown. Lots of traffic there. <laughs> Well, hello there. Here we are at the Stanley Park Hollow Tree, a very famous landmark with tourists. Uh, this tree, as you can see, is no longer alive. It is actually 700 to 800 years old, but has been stabilized uh, to keep it up uh, because many of the trees in 2006 were damaged during a huge storm that we had. There was a lot of discussion about what to do about this very popular site, so they decided to fix it. And if you take a look, uh, it's supported with iron beams and uh, rods to make sure that the tree won't fall over. And it's still very popular with tourists like me. Costs uh, 250000 to do. And that's it. Okay, so here I am with my friend Phyllis. And we're walking very fast. Phyllis, why are we rushing? We're rushing because our timer might be out on our car. So we have to get there so I don't get a ticket. All right, so we're going to run back. We're running. <laughs> Phyllis has been very nice because she's helped me make my movie today and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Say goodbye. Bye.